Okay, there you go. So this one, again, this is all about the blood vessels and circulation. And we will be starting here about the uh, functions of the blood vessel. And we already aware that if we say blood vessel, what comes to your mind are your arteries, your veins, and also your capillaries. Okay, the first function here, it's carry the blood. So it carry from the heart to all the tissues of our body, and then it will go back to our heart. It exchange nutrients, waste products, gases within the tissues. So the, here, uh, the nutrients and the, um, the, the oxygen, they will diffuse from the blood vessels uh, to cells in our body. And then the waste products, on the other hand, waste products and also the uh, carbon dioxide, they diffuse from the cell, then they will go back to the blood, then it will go back to the lungs, and then we will expel them out. Or uh, the waste, other waste product, they will go to our kidney, and then we will um, eliminate it with the use of our um, excretory system. The other things, transport substances, Again, these blood vessels, they are the highways of all substances going to the different parts of our body. It regulates the blood pressure, in which we already learned a while ago, and also direct the blood flow to all the tissue. Okay? So these are the functions of our blood vessels. And again, uh, if we say arteries, these are blood, uh, carry blood away from the heart okay thick with a lot of elastic okay what i want you to remember if we say arteries the blood is oxygenated it is rich in oxygen level while your vein carry blood toward the heart thick with less uh, with less elastic usually here the blood is uh, deoxygenated okay and we have your capillaries capillaries just like here they will meet on this part. They are, there's going to be exchange occurs between the body fluids and also the tissue. Okay, the blood flow here, as you can see, the blood flow from arteries into your arterioles. Now, arterioles um, into your capillaries, capillaries into your venules, venules to a small vein, and then the vein return to your heart with the use of your superior and your vena uh, inferior vena cava okay the blood vessels here as you can see um uh these are what we call your tunics okay your uh, tu uh tunica intima tunica media and tunica adventicia okay and tunica uh, intima as you can see here this part um, it is the innermost layer um, of this blood cell, of the tunix. So these are a uh, simple squamous. Your tunica media, this one, uh, this is the middle layer. This is smooth muscle with some um, elastic and collagen. Your tunica adventitia here, this is the outermost layer. Mostly these are connective tissue. Okay, moving on here, uh, your types of arteries. So we have your elastic artery. We also have your muscular arteries, okay? In, and also your arterioles. Your arterioles, again, kanina kung saan nakita natin or na pag-usapan natin yung, uh, yung tunics sa may arterioles yun. Elastic arteries here, larger in diameter, thick as wall. Example is your aorta in your pulmonary trunk. While your muscular arteries, medium to small size, uh, thick in diameter, uh, thick in diameter, uh, contains smooth muscle cells, can control blood flow. Okay? Awesome. Now let's go here to the next one. So ito, uh, you can just check this one on your book, this illustration here. And here is your um, capillaries. Um, so the blood flows from arterioles, this one, papunta siya ng um, capillaries. Okay, now the capillaries here, um, 
they branch out and then they will form networks okay just like this one so arterioles pupunta ng capillaries and then yung capillaries nagbranch out yan meron siyang network and then blood flow is regulated by your smooth muscle cell that is what we call this one your precapillary sphincters okay this is being regulated uh, by the precapillary sphincter Again, then eventually it will now go to your veins or to your venules. Again, arterial, uh, the blood flows from the arterioles here going into your capillaries in which uh, it has networks. And then it capillaries nato, it is being um, regulated by your uh, precapillary sphincter. And eventually it will now go to your venules. Okay, going here, this is your um, endothelium, the capillaries, walls consist of only a simple endothelium surrounded by delicate, loose, connective tissue. Type of veins naman tayo. Uh, the type of veins, uh, your blood flow from capillaries into your venules. Let's go back here. So here, yung, uh, yung veins naman, nireceive, niya yung, uh, nireceive natin yung blood kanina from the capillary network going to your veins now dudugtong siya dito the blood flows from capillaries into your venules now the blood flows from venules pupunta siya sa small veins now yung all three tunics are present in small veins medium sized vein uh, collect blood from small veins and deliver to larger veins yung large veins naman they contain now your valves Okay, so ganito yung magiging flow niya. So direction of blood flow. Here, be sure, uh, pag pupunta na yung blood, mag-open itong si valve. And then dadaan siya sa vein. And then after makadaan ng blood, magko-close yung valve. A blood vessel pulmonary circulation. So we have your pulmonary circulation here. Uh, this one we already talked a while ago. The blood vessels that carry blood from right ventricle to lungs and back from the left atrium of the heart. That's just my pulmonary trunk, which the blood pump from the right ventricle towards the lung. And the pulmonary vein is exit lungs and carry oxygen rich blood to your left atrium. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the illustration, um, which uh, we already tackled. A while ago. Now let's discuss this one. Yung parts of your aorta. Okay, the parts of your aorta. So we have your ascending aorta from the word itself, ascending here. And then we also have your descending aorta. Okay, which is uh, on this part. So the ascending, it passes your superiorly, uh, superior, passes superiorly from the left ventricle and then yung aortic arch not then this one meron siyang three major arteries which carry the blood to the head and then sa my upper limb ng katawan natin yung descending naman extends siya sa my thorax natin papunta sa abdomen and pelvis area natin okay now here as so you can see, this is the uh, thoracic area. Um, part of the descending aorta, so kanina yung ascending aorta natin pababa sa may thoracic area naman, extend from the thorax going to your um, diaphragm. Now, meron din tayong uh, abdominal here, yung descending aorta that extends from diaphragm. It divides, uh, where it divides at the common iliac arteries. So you can see this one, you can see this uh, on your book. So meron din tayong arteries of the head and the neck. So as you can see here, ito yung uh, common carotid natin. Uh, you can palpate that one. Uh, maririnig niyo common carotid. And then meron din tayo dito yung subclavian artery. And then your brachiocephalic artery. Okay, the branches of your aortic uh, arch uh, si yung tatlo na na-mention natin kanina. Uh, let's start here with your brachiocephalic artery. 
Okay, this is the first branch of your aortic arch. So, pataas tayo muna from the heart going up kasi ito yung nagsusupply ng, uh, ng blood doon. So, this one, it will supply blood to the right side of the head and also to the neck. Okay, your brachiocephalic artery. Yung left common carotid artery natin, ito. Uh, so, meron tayong left and right. Yung left is the second branch of aortic artery. Ito naman is yung left side ng head and neck ang sinusuplayan niya ng dugo. Yung subclavian natin, this one, um, ito naman is yung sup nagsusupply siya sa may uh, left upper limb ng katawan natin. Yung right common carotid artery uh, sa may left side of the head, nasabi natin yung um, subclavian na right naman is sa may upper limb ng katawan natin. And then here, yung nagsusupply naman ng ating uh, blood sa ating, uh, sa ating limbed area. So we have your uh, axillary artery here sa may kilikili. Kaya tinatawag yan na axilla, uh, axillary area. Uh, this one. Um, continuation ito ng subclavian natin kanina here. And then magkukontinue siya dito sa axillary artery. Uh, ito yung nagsusupply ng blood sa may clavicle area natin. And then, bababa tayo here. Ito yung brachial artery uh, sa, may, um, ma, sa may antecubital area ng ating arm na mapapalpate nyo yan. Uh, brachial artery. Uh, ito naman yung where the blood pressure measures are taken. So, typically, dito tayo kumukuha ng blood pressure ng pasyente. Okay, uh, you can palpate this one, uh, malakas yung pressure dyan. So, meron din tayong tinatawag na radial artery. This one, itong radial artery naman natin na ito, nagsusupply ng dugo sa forearm, forearm here, and then sa ating hands. Okay, itong ulnar artery naman, ito yung uh, sa may near ng ating elbow. Okay. So again, from the subclavian, magpa-pass through siya dito. Axillary artery na nagsusupply sa my clavicle area natin. Brachial artery here, usually dito natin sinicheck yung blood pressure ng pasyente. Radial artery nagsusupply ng dugo sa ating forearm and sa hand natin. Okay? Next one, let's move um, lower yung arteries of yung abdominal aorta naman natin. Okay, so may abdominal area ito. And then, meron tayong tinatawag na uh, celiac trunk. This one. Yung celiac trunk that is located here, uh, ito naman yung nagsusupply ng blood sa may stomach area natin. Remember, celiac trunk, they supply blood to stomach the pancreas, spleen, liver, and also sa may upper duodenum ng ating, um, ng ating small intestine that is supplied by your celiac trunk. Now, let's go a bit lower here. Ito naman, this is your superior mesenteric arteries. Your superior mesenteric artery, sinusupply niya yung blood natin sa may small intestine. Okay? It supply blood in a small intestine and the upper portion of the column. That is your superior mesenteric um, artery. So superior sa taas, meron yung counterpart sa baba. That is the inferior mesenteric artery. Ito naman blood supply sa ating colon area. Okay, superior mostly sa my small intestine, inferior sa my colon. Now let's go to our uh, renal artery naman. This one. From the word renal, it means sa ating mga kidney. Okay? So this supplies the blood for our kidneys. And we also have your um, wala tayong hepatic dito. 
we should have hepatic here. Uh, your hepatic artery naman is for the liver. Okay, tandaan nyo na lang, we also have your hepatic artery. That is one is for the liver. Here, we have your gonadal arteries. Uh, this one is for our um, reproductive system. Okay, so yung nagsusupply ng blood for, uh, for the testicles and for the ovaries, we call that your gonadal arteries. Or sometimes we just uh, we just identify it as your testicular artery or ovarian artery, okay? But um, collectively they are called your gonadal arteries. Now here, meron naman tayong lumbar artery. Itong lumbar artery naman is nagsusupply sa my vertebra area natin at saka sa my back muscles natin. So, yan yung nagsusupply. And we also have your, um, parang wala ditong phrenic. Oh, ay, there you go. Itong inferior phrenic arteries natin, dito sa may upper part, as you can see, ito naman yung nagsusupply ng blood to lumbar vertebra and, um, ano na, lumbar pala yun. Ito yun yung lumbar. Itong inferior phrenic arteries natin, ito yung nagsusupply ng blood sa my diaphragm area natin. Okay? So I'll repeat. Let's uh, repeat one by one. Inferior phrenic artery, it supplies the blood to our diaphragm. Celiac trunk or celiac, celiac trunk arteries supplies blood to stomach, pancreas, spleen, liver, and upper duodenum. Your superior mesenteric um, artery supplies blood to small intestine and portion of the column. But the other part or majority of the colon is being supplied by your inferior mesenteric artery. Renal artery is for the kidneys. Hepatic artery is for the blood, uh, is for the liver. Testicular artery is for the testes, ovarian arteries for the ovaries, or we can just call it your gonadal arteries. And your lumbar artery here is for the lumbar vertebra and back muscle. Okay, that is for the abdominal aorta. Now let's go move. Uh, let's move lower to my pelvis naman natin. Uh, arteries of pelvis yung nagsusupply sa, um, sa my lower part ng ating body. So we have your common iliac artery, which is this one. Your common iliac artery uh, branches from your abdominal aorta. So galing siya dito, branch out siya dito. And this one, it divides into your internal and to your external iliac arteries. So itong si external iliac arteries natin na ito, uh, nagsusupply siya sa my lower limb ng ating body. While our internal iliac here, um, this one supplies blood for our pelvis. Okay? So ang, ang uh, original, uh, nag-originate si celiac, ay si common iliac artery sa ating abdominal uh, aorta. And then it will branch out and then meron siyang external artery para sa lower limb, internal artery para naman yan sa my pelvic area. Okay, going down. Okay, sa so arteries of lower limb naman, meron tayong femoral artery, popliteal, ito yung sa may back portion na ito ng ating, uh, ng ating lower limb. Uh, we also have your anterior and posterior arteries and your fibular artery. So sa my femoral, nagsusupply yan sa my thigh area natin. While your popliteal naman, sa my knee area. Your anterior and posterior um, tibial arteries naman, blood supply yan for the leg and the foot. Okay, your fibular artery naman, blood supply to lateral leg foot. 
Okay. So again, femoral is for the thigh, popliteal uh, artery. This one is for the knee. And then itong anterior and posterior, this one is for the leg and the foot. Itong fibular, this area is for the lateral uh, part of the leg and of the foot. Okay? Now let's go here. Uh, tapos na tayo sa arterial, puna na tayo sa veins. Again, ito naman yung vein, ito yung nagdi-drain naman nung blood. Okay, a while ago, we already introduced to you or we already talked about the superior vena cava and your inferior vena cava. Okay, returns blood from the head, neck, thorax, and right upper limb. It empties into the right atrium of the heart while your inferior naman uh, returns blood from abdomen pelvis, lower limb, and empties into the right atrium of the heart. Okay, let's start uh, to the head up. Your veins and the neck. So we have your here extra jugular, um, I mean external jugular. This one, itong external jugular vein, it drains the blood of the neck and also the head. Okay, saan naman ito mag-empty? Mag-empty ito sa my subclavian vein. Okay? Next one here, yung internal uh, jugular vein, it drains uh, the blood from the brain, from the face, and from the neck as well. Okay? nag empty din ito sa my subclavian vein natin. Your subclavian vein, this one, it forms your brachiocephalic brain, uh, I mean vein. Your brachiocephalic vein, ito, it will now join to form your uh, superior vena cava. Okay? So, chan magdi-drain yung ating mga blood. How about sa ating um, veins on the upper limb? Uh, veins on the upper limb, meron tayong brachial. Here, meron din tayong uh, cephalic, brachial, and median cubital. Itong cephalic vein, uh, empty into your, here, axilla, and your uh, basilic uh, vein. Your brachial naman, um, magi empty din ito sa my axilla area. Your median cubital vein connects your cephalic vein. This one is near your elbow. So my thorax area tayo. Yung thorax naman, uh, right brachiocephalic vein. Meron din tayong left uh, brachiocephalic, your ascygos, uh, hemiacygos, and your posterior. Okay, here. Right and left, saan nagdi-drain ito sa may superior vena cava natin. Yung ascygos vein, this one, uh, nagdi-drain ito sa may thorax into your superior vena cava as well. Your uh, posterior intercostal, this one, um, it drains into your ascygos vein as well. Your hemicygos receives blood from your ascygos, and then uh, it will go to the left side. Okay, so most likely, ang tatandaan nyo lang dito sa mga veins is kung saan sila nagdi-drain, and then kung ano yung mga dinidrain nila usually na blood area. So here in the abdomen and uh, pelvis, form uh, external and internal iliac, uh, na pag-usapan na natin ito kanina doon sa my artery, uh, sa may vena cava din sila nag-de-drain. Um, external iliac, kanina sinusuplayan niya yung, um, yung ating lower limb. Ngayon naman siya din yung, ito yung counterpart sa may vein, siya yung mag empty or mag drain ng blood sa may lower limb. While your internal naman is sa may um, iliac or pelvic region. So going down here, hepatic portal. Uh, I know you're familiar with this one already, uh, hepatic portal system. 
Uh, liver is major uh, processing center for substances absorbed by your intestinal tract. Remember your bilirubin that it should be being uh, absorbed in our intestine dahil nga sa may blockage. Nagkakaroon tayo ng yellowish uh, discoloration of the skin. That is what we call your jaundice. Okay. Uh, portal system, vascular system that begins with capillaries in viscera and ends with capillaries in liver uses your splenic veins and superior mesenteric vein. Okay, so my lower, as a my lower limb natin naman, uh, you already know this one. Um, it will drain uh, your femoral um, vein, your great uh, saphenous vein, and then your popliteal vein. Okay, blood pressure here. Um, most likely, uh, kapag nagpa-medical kayo is kukuhanan kayo ng blood pressure. This is to measure the force um, blood exerts against your blood vessel wall. So meron tayong systolic pressure, ito yung contraction of the heart. Yung diastolic pressure, ito naman yung relaxation ng heart. Yung maririnig ninyong sound. Usually, we call that your Korotkov sound. Okay? And here, uh, I put here the normal values of our blood pressure. On an adult, it is usually 120 over 80. Okay, so, but that again depends on a person. Baka may mga, may mga, ano sila, may mga high blood history or familial silang ganyan. So, um, elevated is 120 to 130. High blood is 130 to 139. Uh, high blood pressure stage 2 is 140 or higher. Kapag higher than 180, that is now what we call your hypertensive crisis. Usually, kailangan na natin yan uh, ipacheck sa doctor para uh, mabigyan kayo ng reset na for uh, you to have a lower um, blood pressure. Okay, and this is the kung paano ninyo kukunin yung blood pressure. You will learn this one on your fundamentals of nursing. So usually here, again, pinag-aralan na natin kanina, dito usually ilalagay yung ating diaphragm ng stethoscope para marinig natin yung blood pressure. Okay, how about your pulse pressure? Uh, what is this one? Difference between your systolic and diastolic pressure. Example, 120 for systolic, 80 for diastolic pulse pressure is your 40 um, and then pulse pressure points can be felt near the large arteries. Okay, this one, this is what we call your pressure points. So you can uh, use your two fingers, your middle finger, and then your index finger uh, together. And then you can feel the arteries. So you can feel first yung carotid. Yan sa my neck area ninyo, i-check ninyo ngayon ngayon. Uh, meron dyang pulse pressure ninyong maririnig. Meron din sa my kilikili natin, yan yung uh, sa my axillary artery. Um, yung very common, yung uh, brachial artery, uh, ma maririnig nyo, uh, makakapan ninyo yan. You can assess that one. Your radial artery, you can also assess that one. Uh, meron din tayong femoral artery sa my singit. Uh, you can actually um, check that one also at the back of your knee this one or behind your knee that is your popliteal area you can also uh, we also have there a pulse pressure meron din tayo sa my dorsalis pedis and then sa my posterior area so most likely i think we have nine common uh, pulse area in our body please memorize this one a capillary exchange um we have already talked about this one how the uh, capillaries work Local control of blood flow, uh, local control of um, achieve the relaxation and contraction of your precapillary sphincter. A while ago, we talked this one. Um, we also have here the nervous and hormonal control of blood flow, your vasomotor center, your sympathetic uh, controls the blood vessel diameter, your vasomotor tone, state of partial uh, constriction of the blood vessel, and increases the cause blood vessel to constrict. 
a while ago we've uh, we've learned about your affinate print and then your nor affinate print and here we've already talked a while ago yung vasoreceptor reflexes natin kung saan tumutulong sila to uh, maintain the blood pressure in our body aside from that we also have your chemoreceptor uh, reflex and your um um a baroreceptor and chemoreceptor adrenal medullary uh, mechanism oh you've learned this one okay this one your renin uh, angiotensin aldosterone mechanism this one is a bit um, important how does our uh, body uh, maintain its um, blood pressure okay so what is happening here if you're going to follow the diagram ang nangyayari dyan is yung first one uh, reduce the blood flow causes the kidney to release yung tinatawag natin na renin. Okay, kapag na-release yung renin natin, the renin will now act to your angiotensinogen. Okay, kapag nag-react yan sa angiotensinogen, mag-produce ng angiotensin 1. Okay, once na na-produce si angiotensin 1, Si angiotensin converting enzyme or yung tinatawag natin na ACE inhibitor, A ACE, angiotensin converting enzyme, converts your angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. This one. Okay? Kapag na-convert na yan, si angiotensin 2, it will now cause vasoconstriction. Okay? It will cause vasoconstriction here. So, si angiotensin 2 acts on your adrenal cortex, which is this one, to release aldosterone. Si aldosterone naman, it will act to your kidney, okay, that causes them to conserve sodium and water, okay? It will now result less water loss in urine and blood pressure is being maintained. So, ganyan nangyayari yung inyong renin, angiotensin, aldosterone mechanism. Kapag na-detect ng katawan yung uh, na may abnormality sa blood pressure natin, again, it reduces the blood flow, causes the kidney to release your renin. So, si renin, ang mangyayari dyan is mag siya sa angiotensin once na nag-act siya sa angiotensin, marirelease si angiotensin 1. Pag narelease si angiotensin 1, ito naman is i-convert ng an uh, angiotensin converting enzyme or yung ating ACE inhibitor sa angiotensin 2. Sa angiotensin 2, magkukos ng vasoconstriction. Or si angiotensin 2, pwede rin siyang mag uh, act sa adrenal cortex para mag-release ng aldosterone. Si aldosterone naman mag-act sa my kidney para ma-conserve yung sodium and water. And then it will result to less water loss in urine and the blood pressure will maintain. Okay? Your antidiuretic hormone naman, yung ADH, a nerve cell in the hypothalamus release antidiuretic hormone when concentration of solute in plasma increases or blood pressure decreases. Now, your ADH uh, acts of kidney and they absorb more water. So it means kokonti yung urine volume natin. It results in maintained blood volume and also your blood pressure. Other information, uh, your uh, arteriosclerosis uh, makes the arteries less elastic. Your atherosclerosis naman, yung type of arteriosclerosis that form yung deposit of mineral in the artery wall. So merong nagkakaroon siya ng plate. Factors that contribute in atherosclerosis is lack of exercise, is smoking, it's because it has nicotine, um, obesity, Kasi uh, nagkakaroon ng many deposit ng fat sa ating katawan. Diet with high cholesterol and trans fats and sometimes genetics. So that is why we should always exercise, avoid smoking. Uh, our diet should always have high in fiber para maganda yung ating um, intestines. And 
we should um, avoid eating cholesterols and high in salt as well. Okay? And that's it for the uh, blood vessel and circulation. Okay?